Hello everybody, what? Uh, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be me discussing this whole Hartley Sawyer, uh, you know, situation. Basically, uh, if you haven't heard what's going on, Hartley Sawyer, an actor on uh, The Flash, which is on The CW, he basically plays the elongated man. And basically what ended up happening is that he was just, an, uh, the CW just announced that, that announced that they fired him for derogatory statements, for derogatory tweets, uh, just to be specific. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, "Wait, did it, like, uh, like I, you know, just in, it, just in case you're watching this, and if you happen to follow him on Twitter, you might be asking yourself, wait a minute, did he? Wait, I, like, I, I follow him. He hasn't really made any any remarks lately. Well, it turns out." That is actually not what happened. The derogatory tweets that they're, uh, and I'm using air quotes, derogatory tweets that they uh, are talking about are ones from eight years ago. They are tweets from eight years ago, and yet they're using them to cancel the guy. This guy had just had his career ruined because of things he said seven or eight years ago. Just, just think about that. Something you said, something you said seven or eight years ago is being used to cancel you now. It would be one thing if he made the statements now, and even then it would be questionable. But no, he didn't make this. He didn't make these tweets now. He made them seven or eight years ago. So of course, of course, it means in 2020. In 2020, it basically means that you are done. You are out. You are never going to work here ever again. So again, this guy had his just had his career ruined because of things he said seven or eight years ago. And in all honesty, in case you want to know, the things that he said aren't even all that terrible. In fact, you can see some examples of them right here. Let's just look at the tweet right here. Let's just look at this. So apparently, uh, look at this. He says it, it, that myself so I don't have to masturbate. Um, okay, like that. That's just a bad joke. Uh, the saddest part about someone committing suicide is that they will never listen to David Bowie again. I mean, okay, maybe that, but again, just bad joke. Super Bowl, America, 80% of the prison population is African American. Again, bad joke. Uh, just kidding, I don't care, and uh, that is, uh, that's our fine, but sports often make me snore. Again, bad joke. Out of dinner and just expose myself as a racist again. But, but again, this is just... This, bad jokes just 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 nothing but bad jokes they're nothing but bad jokes and he's being canceled because of that and again the tweets that he's saying the tweets that he uh, posted aren't even all that bad again they're just bad jokes it's just this guy being stupid and and yet they're acting like this guy just committed murder i mean it's just <sighs> Do you want to know what, what, what's the most insulting thing about this? Is that these are the same people who are going out preaching about change, how we need change, and yet you never stop to think that maybe this guy, by the time he posted these, you know, seven or eight years ago, to now, maybe he has changed. Maybe now he's gotten to the point in his life where he's not making these stupid jokes anymore. And, like, you never even once considered that maybe he's changed, that he's not this person, that he's not the person to make these type, type of bad jokes anymore. But no, you didn't even want to bother giving him that chance because the second you saw this, it's just instantly go, get out of here. We, 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 don't, we, we don't want you working for us anymore. And look, it would be one thing if he was just fired from the CW. No, no, no. Because of this, because of fucking cancel culture, this guy is never going to work ever again. He's never going to work ever again because of, this, because of this just sick culture that's in Hollywood right now. This fucking cancel culture. Like this, just it's 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 insane. Like the 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 CW. Look, if I'm being honest, the CW has just been shit for years now. Like the, you, you know what? I, I, I'm just gonna say this, and I know how this is gonna sound, but I mean it. I I genuinely think this is good for the guy. You, do you want to know why? Because I want him to get as far away from the CW as possible. It's it's a good thing that he's not working there anymore. Because at least now he won't be part of a shit TV show anymore. 
and not even that look i i just i recommend anyone if you have a chance if you work in hollywood if you have a chance get as far away from hollywood as possible okay hollywood is just it it it, it is a sick place full of sick people who who never practice what they preach it's, but it's a bunch of it's run by a bunch of sick people a bunch of hypocritical people who will say things like we stand for diversity we stand for equality we stand for change no you don't you don't stand for any of this shit all you care about at the end of the day is yourselves that is all you care about you six seven eight years ago he said this and what he said isn't even all that bad jesus christ these people and as if that wasn't bad enough now they're trying to go after uh, daniel pennebaker the who the the actress who plays uh killer frost on the show same show and now they're trying to get after her and basically it's this is something yeah look i remember this this was this was such a long time ago it was such a long time ago, and basically what ended up happening is, uh, oh God, what's her name? Candace. Candace Patton was hired to play Iris West, and a lot of people were just uh, were weren't really happy because you know Iris is she's a white redhead in the comics, and they're wondering why did they hire Candace? And basically, it just a lot of people just said that they just didn't like the fact that she doesn't look uh, the way she did in the uh, the way she does in the comics, and that's it. And I think that maybe there were some, yeah, look, I've seen some tweets that were written and they were pretty bad. So, yeah, I, I the, the, uh, the, the, there were some people who were being a bit, you know, shitty. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But basically what they're trying to say is that, you know, Daniel's basically uh, using this to basically, because some people have been shipping, who, who shipped like Barry and Caitlin and basically... Um, basically she was just you know like going along with it she was going along with the whole shipping thing and apparently they're taking it to mean that uh, she's apparently endorsing uh, you know what's going on with uh can with with candace and, and uh, you know all the those those remarks that she's been getting again i i don't know if this is true i don't know 100 percent, but consider i don't know if this is 100 percent accurate but considering the people that are making this I just I have no doubt that they're blowing it out of proportion and that it's not actually happening the way they're saying it happened. But yeah, so basically another another actor lost, loses their career because of bad jokes that they made seven or eight years ago, never once thinking that maybe this actor has changed. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because these people don't care. It's 2020. These people do not care whether you did this years ago and that you've changed it, it doesn't matter if you the way you are now are someone who would never make those jokes again who would never purposely make those jokes again it doesn't matter to these people because as long as you said it god forbid these people would go after you even if you said it when you were one when you were one years old and you were just barely learning how to talk if you said it then they'll still want you canceled because that's the kind of people that they are they're fucking sick, every single one of them. And yet, what, 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 it's something else that pisses me off is that a lot of these people, I'm willing to bet that if you look into their past, you're going to find something. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now, okay? It doesn't matter what we do. This guy just lost his career for nothing. And what sucks is that this guy was one of the few good things about the Flash show right now. Because honestly, it has just turned to absolute shit. It, the show is dog shit. It is horrible. I tried to watch some of the episodes of the latest season and it was terrible. The only thing I even remotely enjoyed was his performance. So congratulations, you dumbasses. I, I, I don't know what else to say about this. I'm just going to end it. I'm, I'm tired. I'm honestly tired of this. I'm tired of cancel culture. I wish it would go away. It just, it sucks. It, it absolutely sucks. But anyway, that's all I have to say about this. Guys, as always, your comments your, or your thoughts, leave them in the comments. Consider liking, sharing the video, and maybe consider subscribing while you're here. Click on the bell icon. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you for helping me get the watch time. Uh, maybe consider doing so for my future videos. Uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you so much. You guys take care of yourselves.
Bye.